What's up guys? My name is Brighton Berthrong. I'm a class of 22 catcher out of West Oaks High School and that's what's in my bat bag. What's up guys? I'm Hype and I had to jump into this video real quick to tell you about a giveaway I'm doing on the channel this month. I'm giving away a lightly used axe bat. I used in one video. I probably took 20 hacks with it. There's one little mark on it. Uh, it's a 33 inch. Uh, the model is a L118 and uh, these go for like 150 bucks at Dick's Sporting Goods. So the way you can win this bat is every video for the month of June, you have to one, be subscribed to the channel. Two, you have to like every video that comes out in June and the first one in July. So that's every Tuesday and every Friday. Three, you have to share this video with someone. So you have to click the share button and you can share it to social media. You can text it to a friend, whatever you want to do. And then four, you have to comment down below your favorite thing about the channel. It could be uh, the What's in the Bag series. It can be the Day in the Life series. It can be something about this video that you like. It could be about the giveaways. And you have to do that for every single video that comes out in June and the first one in July. After that, I will select one winner to win this very axe bat. You must live in the United States because shipping outside the United States for a bat is extremely expensive. And my channel does not make that much money to ship out a bat. So good luck and back to the video. So I don't like the traditional catcher bag uh, with the rollies on it. I've never been a fan of it. I feel like it's a lot to carry, especially on the weekend of a tournament, carrying it from field to field. So I've actually, I use just a normal Under Armour Duffy from Goodwill, five bucks, steel. And picked up this Army tactical book bag from Amazon and it has a lot of pockets, just a normal book bag. No bat holders or anything, but you know, it does me well. Holds everything I need. Start off with the bats. Start off with my woods. I have a Zinger VM71 X Series model. It's a 33 inch, um, really inloaded. I keep this around in case my other wood bat breaks. Uh, good swinging in the cage. This is my gamer, this is my bomb bat. Um, it's a 32 and a half. Um, I actually picked this up after my first wood bat tournament. I snapped two wood bats in one tournament. Um, picked this up to save some money. I've been using this since my freshman year. Um, it's done me pretty good. I kind of feel like I'm cheating out there, honestly. It's probably one of the best wood, wood bats I've ever swung. And you know, it's pretty durable too. It's lasted me three years and still going strong. And then my metal bat, I swing a 33 Meta Prime. It's the model from two years ago. Um, this is probably the best BB core bat I've ever swung. I think it might be the hottest. Um, I picked it up after swinging one of my buddies. I hit really good in the tournament. Picked it up afterwards, been swinging it ever since. Um, Jump from the 33 to 32. I kind of like the feel. It's very balanced with a fat sweet spot. There. It's triple. <laughs> <All right now. laughs> I'm going to my gloves. It's a forty four pro catcher's mitt. Um, recently pulled it out of retirement. I broke the strings. Too late to get it fixed. Uh, broke my other glove mid-season. Had to get it relaced. Been using it. Um, custom glove, 44 with the pink. It's 
It's been a trooper for me. It's been through a lot since my freshman year, I think. Still going strong and breaking pretty good. I like it. And this is my new mitt. Kind of struggled to break it in. It's a Rawlings Heart of the Hide. Uh, jumped from a 33 inch to a 34 inch. Uh, figured I'd give that a try. And I'm not sure what this outer shell is called, but it's more like a carbon fiber look. It's supposed to make the glove lighter. When I bought it, I bought it for the looks of it, but honestly, it makes a huge difference. It makes the glove 10 times lighter. And I kind of like that framing pitches and stuff. So hopefully I get this breaking in and get to using it. Oh, we'll go to my cleats. These are the Nike Alphas. Uh, I've always been a molded guy uh, all the way until this year. I picked up the spikes. I honestly like the way they looked. That's why I got them. Um, honestly, really comfortable too. Uh, they have whatever in the inside. I didn't really think it would make a difference, but it's honestly saved me from getting those blisters on the back of my heels. Um, kind of lightweight too for the, how bulky they are. And I think they just look drippy on the field, so I'm gonna rock them. Um, with summer ball coming up, I threw the, the football gamers, play football too, these are my game cleats. Threw them in the bag for turf fields when we can't wear spikes. Um, they're Nike ID'd, I wanna say they're Nike Untouchables football cleats. Um, Nike ID'd, my sister was actually diagnosed with Rett syndrome um, at the age of one. So I got them ID'd uh, with Rett Strong on them. Show some tribute to her with her name and birth date on the tongue. I got my school colors on them. Extremely lightweight, I love them. I uh, have my number on the back too. Uh, good for, for turf fields and good to show some tribute to my sister. Get to the catcher's gear. I use all-star gear. This is the helmet. Um, got the gray and yellow for my school. This is honestly the most comfortable helmet money can buy. Uh, all-star gear in general is just extremely comfortable and I've, I've wore that since I started catching. Um, the vision in this is probably the best of any other helmet I've used, and I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it feels like a pillow on your head, so I've always stuck with All Star, and I love it. And into my summer ball helmet, I got a two-piece All Star skull cap and mask. Um, honestly, awful vision. I would not recommend it unless you're just trying to look drippy on the field. Um, I honestly, just wear it for the cool pictures, and you know, I catch you wearing a two-piece is pretty valid, so. I'll rock it in the summer ball. They won't let us wear it in high school, so I'll rock that one during high school games. But, you know, still looks cool, so I'm gonna rock it. Get into the all-star chest protector. Um, has a little heart pad on it. Wouldn't think I would notice it, but you know, it kind of helps. Yet to get hit and have it hurt, so I feel like it's doing a good job for me. I'm also a fan of the green on the inside. I feel like that's kind of dope. And, you know, fits well, lasted me. I think this is two seasons with this, still in pretty good condition. Everything's about the same as when I bought it and it's going good for me. Um, these are my All-Star chin protectors. Um, yet again, All-Star's most comfortable gear. These are the most comfortable leg protectors I've ever used. Um, I do the knee down and so these can get beat up pretty well and they've lasted me. Same with since freshman year, sophomore year. Uh, they've held up pretty well. This Patella gel on the inside actually a lot of help. Um, I actually have knee problems I got injured in football and this actually played a big factor in me even being able to play this high school season um, It's extremely comfortable extremely flexible too. being able to move back there quick lightweight the best gear you can get so I rock with all-star all-star heavily Love the yellow and the, the gray too My high school we do the the wristband pitch calls. Just got a normal one off Amazon. Purple has all our pitches on it. Kind of complicated. Not a fan of it, but do it for the team. Got a Gator in here. These are actually custom for my high school. Um, beginning of the year with COVID, we had to wear these. This is ten times better than a normal mask. Uh, I rocked it now. In there for strictly drip. Uh, I occasionally rock it, but it's getting kind of hot, so. I'll keep it in there just in case, and maybe if I need a mask on a field, walking into a um, complex or anything, I'll have it in there just in case. This is my DeMarini helmet. Uh, it's matte white. Comfortable, it fits well. Uh, I got it strictly for the matte white. It's the only matte white helmet I could find, and honestly, it's really comfortable, and I've rocked with it for the past two years. Um, has the Evo Shield flap on it. Uh, I got it with the helmet. Um, haven't got hit there yet, but you know, if it's there if I do. Um, 
if you haven't noticed, all white accessories is the move. Uh, you gotta have all white, nothing else. Uh, this helmet's done me pretty good and it's still holding up pretty well. So I like it, fits well. I got my Evo Shield elbow guard. Uh, I've worn this since eighth grade, I wanna say. Um, hit good in the tournament. Wearing a buddies of mine's, picked one up and wearing it ever since. Um, yet again, all white. Uh, been hit probably two times in it in the past four years. So, I mean, strictly for the looks, but I rock with it, so. I got Nike batting gloves. Um, I actually broke mine going into a tournament last fall. Had to make a quick dick sport and good run and pick these up. Wasn't really sure about it, never used Nike. I've always been a Franklin guy, but through the rest of the fall season and my whole summer season, you know, they held up pretty well. I think there's one tiny hole on them. Um, grip is actually pretty good. I never thought I, anything could beat Franklin, but this might be a contender. Um, yet again, all white. Well, was once white, but you know, I've used these for BP and games and they've held up pretty well. So I like them. Got to get a new pair of those soon for sure. I get into some arm care stuff. Uh, I got two plyo balls, drive line. Um, I'll use these more for arm strengthening more than I will warming up. I see a lot of guys using them to warm up. I'm not a fan of it pre-game, but every time I'm out here at the field throwing, I'll get these to work and try to get my arm stronger. But you know, these are very, very key. Another key thing for the arm care, we got the yellow J bands. Um, I've had these for about four years, I think. They haven't snapped, been working pretty well. Um, I'll use these before I throw any time, for game, for practice, or if I'm just going to toss. Um, really keeps the arm loose. I feel like it has helped arm strengthening. Uh, I'll use this before I use the plyo balls and um, key for stretching out before a game. You won't catch me throwing without getting some type of band work in. One of the most key things in my bat bag, we got the massage going. Um, catching three games a weekend, you know, in school ball, playing back-to-back -back days or playing every other day. The legs get tight, especially catching. The arm gets tight. Um, this is key. This will stretch you out and make, make you be feeling good. Um, I actually struggled with arm problems this high school season. Uh, being able to sit in between innings or while I'm not hitting, just going on my arm with the massage gun really helped a lot. Um, this is probably one of the best purchases that I've ever made. A little pricey, but I feel like it's definitely worth it. And then some extra stuff in the bag. Gotta have the tape and the pre-wrap. Co-Flex, you know, this is just the basics. Um, my high school actually provides us tape, but I keep this in here just in case. You know, never know when a ball might go off the thumb or off the wrist and you tape it up. You never know when your back grip might break. Keep this in there just, just in case. Um, come to clutch more than you would think. Probably the most important thing next to the massage go in the bag is the ibuprofen. Uh, this thing will get you going. Uh, like I said, catching two games in a weekend, three games in a weekend playing during school ball, practicing every day, you're gonna need these. This is definitely, definitely key for any baseball player. If you're not on the ibuprofen wave, you gotta hop on. Last thing in my bat bag. Um, this is actually my first ever home run ball. I hit it in 10 U, and I can still remember that day like it was yesterday. Um, my first ever middle school game, I was actually pretty nervous. I was going through my room thinking of some superstitious ways I could hit good. Pick this up, threw it in my bag hit good that season, hit insane, and it's traveled from three different bat bags since. I keep it in there. Try to keep it low key though, so no sticky fingers, get to grabbing it out the bag and get to throwing with it, but um, I'm a pretty superstitious guy, so I like to keep this in there for good luck. And it's worked, so.